Okay, so, um, it's Monday the 13th of February. Um, so I did bad on my last two week. Uh, I was supposed to be, um, going for walks or running, you know, um, basically working on a walk run. Um, and I did really bad at that. Uh, basically I did not go out once. Um, things I learned... I don't like getting wet, and I need, I don't know, something, something to get me out and moving in the mornings, um, maybe having breakfast already set up, uh, like maybe being in clothes already that are okay for going out, I mean, like, I'm not gonna go in my pajamas, it's too early to change into my work clothes, because I go to work at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, um, so, I mean, I suppose I can change into it, but who wants to wear jeans for, like, 20 hours a day? That's just terrible. Whatever. Anyway, um, so, totally failed for the last two weeks. Uh, I have some stress going on over, we had a bunch of snow days, I'm still not sure what my paycheck is gonna be like. That's really got me sort of stressed. I went over my budget, um, looked at places that I could I could reduce my budget. Just it's gonna be like a no spend, no spend month until next payday. Um, really wish I knew how much money I was working with. Um, but anyway. Um, some things to focus on for the next two weeks. I've been very terrible about bringing lunches to work. Um, like, I've had food in the fridge, but I think what I need to do, what I really, really need to do is have it portioned out. It's like, I grab a container, throw it in my lunch bucket, <laughs> take it with me. Like, less thinking, less packing, less stuff to do in the morning. Um, some other things that I've been failing at, um, keeping my space clean, uh, like tidy clean and cleanliness clean. I, I need to get back to focusing on that. Um, some things I can do is just have all the dishes done every night. I mean, I don't produce a lot of dishes, but over the course of three or four days, produce quite a bit. So I think that if I just did them every night, it's you know, a, maybe a 10 minute process. I mean, I could put whitening strips on my teeth and then do as many dishes as I can before the timer goes off. Or maybe, I don't know, there's things I could do. Anyway. Um... Yeah, so I guess this week the focus will be on, well, two weeks. Two weeks will be um, getting food portioned out, make sure I'm bringing stuff to work. Um, still haven't done any energy drinks. I'm doing good on that one. Um, and this week I'll be filing my taxes, so I'll know how much money that'll be. But that won't help me with this month, because I think the Fed's... Especially the feds are doing, um, they're holding on to money for a little while. So I think it'll be like at least a month after you file. Anyway, whatever. It's, it's gravy. And then, um, talk to the tax lady and see about what I should change my W-4. Yeah, W-4 is what you file with your company that you work with. Um what I should change my W-4 to so that I'm not getting a return at the end of the year, but that I don't owe money at the end of the year. Um, but this, this year I've got two W-2s because I worked for one company for the first half of the year and a new company for the second half of the year. So we'll see what that's all about. Um, 
And some things that I'm working on paying off. Um, sort of the gist is the snowball. I don't know if anybody watched Dave Ramsey snowball baby steps. Um, I, I owe like 500 bucks on a phone that I had to emergency buy a new phone. So I want to get that paid off and then work on getting um, like a thousand bucks of emergency cash savings tucked away somewhere. Um, and then like that's emergency cash that's not sitting in a bank that's, I don't know, readily accessible money. Anyway, and then um, and then work on paying off my debts. Um, my debts are, I owe some money to my mom. Um, she helped me buy a place, and then we sold the place, and I had her paid back. But she, I don't know, I ended up putting all of her money into a savings account for her, and ended up having to borrow from it a few times. So I, I owe her money back. Um, plus I still have a bunch of her money in a savings account with my name on it, but whatever. Um, so getting her paid back and, um, my other debt that I have is student loans. I've got like 30000 in student loans, um, for a degree I still don't have. So, <laughs> um, so I, I'm big on talking to my mom about what's going on, um, finances, my goals, um, working on timelines, being very clear with her about what's happening and why it's happening the way that it is, um, my goals, my intentions, um, and since I owe her money at no interest, thanks mom, um, she gets to pick and choose a little bit about, you know, does she want me to pay her back first? Does she want me to focus on the student loans? Um, right now a goal is to replace my my vehicle or fix my vehicle. Um, needs a bunch of front end work that's like 2000 bucks at the local shop. I need to shop around. I need, I, like, I really need to focus on getting out and shopping around and seeing if there's somebody that is less expensive to do the work. And, um, yeah, and then save up for that. Or get a credit card. I don't want to do a credit card, but it's something that I don't think six months, I don't think I have six months to fix it. I think that it's something that needs to be fixed very soon. Um, otherwise I need to replace my vehicle. Um, and even that, I would still need to borrow money. So um, whether I'm borrowing money out of the savings account that I've got my mom's cash, thanks mom, um, or borrowing money from other family members on top of trying to save money. I really, you know, I really don't want to take any more money from family members, take, not take, borrow more money from family members just because it, I don't know, it's too easy to not pay them back, I guess. I don't know, maybe it's just where my head is. Just where my head is. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of kind of what that's about. I yeah, I'd rather not have to borrow from family members. Um, yeah, a weird. I'd almost rather have a credit card than to pay my family. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, so I've got I've got to deal with that um, the issues with my my transportation right now. Um, it's still transportation. It's reliable but on its last legs at the moment um yeah so i guess that's that's what's going on with that um so focus on getting meals uh packed pre-packed just grab and goes um 
and waiting on my paycheck to see how small it's going to be. Um, missed a lot of days due to snow days and taxes and I'll be trying to do as little grocery shopping as possible. Um, I went and, and did a grocery shop, um, like $103 worth of food for, that's about two weeks. Um, not as much fresh produce as I was hoping to get, but I was also out of like coconut oil and I was out, oh, I didn't even get more brown sugar. Um, milk, eggs, things like that. So I got milk and eggs and half and half so I can have coffee. Yay, coffee! Um, yeah, so a lot of things have been running out and I'm dealing with playing catch up on that, doing catch up on that without having any money, which will be good. I mean, it'll suck. It's always hard to do catch up, but it'll be good to use up the last of hot sauce and to use up the last of things that are just in my pantry. I mean, it'll be good. Um, yeah. It'll be good. It'll be okay. It'll be alright. <laughs> anyway. Yep. So that's what I got going on. Um, sucked at my last two weeks. Don't know what my next two weeks are going to be. Um, need to regain focus on bringing lunches to work with me. Yeah. Maybe I'll do two weeks of making sure that I do my dishes every night. I can do that. It's only ten minutes every day. Yeah. Next two weeks will be uh, doing my dishes and wiping down my kitchen counter, which is all of like four square feet every night before I go to bed. I can do that. Alright. Peace out. Thanks for watching.